You can always count on Squeezy. Woo! That'll work. <laughs> Come on back. You're good. We're sliding. Stop, 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 stop. What is that? <laughs> this is a powerhouse. With the gold package. Oh. I got a bat in my cave. Come on, Ralphie. What? He? Oh, no. Yeah. Don't mind me. Can you give it a bump? It's such a good boy. Ah. Ooh. This ain't a good looking start here. Can't eat the seeds. Not a good sign. What is Rocky doing? Crusty. Yeah, he exhaust tubes. Oh, He's wow. walking a tightrope. Woo! Look at that pose. Ow! Nothing. Hey. That's not a good sign. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I ain't never checked a thread on nothing. I do now. I'm never gonna listen to him. Okay, send it for us. Oh! Giraffe on that one in. Score! That's factory. I felt it in my toes. I remember when they were- Oh, wow. <laughs> 24 volts! 24 volts! All in favor say I. O-M-G. Caught Bugs Bunny. Girl said to Dollar General. Ooh, what'd you put the key on? <laughs> Sweet kitty sometimes. Oh, Mom knows one. what's good. A it's hot like minute. <laughs> 24 volts. Crunked up around the gas tank above your head. Shucking corn, don't she? What? what? 24 volts. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm good. Wow, wow, wow. That's about to catch fire. She glowing. <laughs> 24 volts to everything. Ooh. Oh my God. Burning something. Give her a look, see. Oh, it's got serious. Lord. What in the world? Yes! Yeah. Crank her up! 24 volts. Oh. Magic. Love triangle. Okay. Party mode. Welcome back to the Sleeper Dude YouTube channel. We're back with the two-door box top Fairmont. Now, usually you see me with these sedan cars, station wagons, but, but I mean, for a lot of people in the ugly Fox body world, this is the holy grail right here. Two-door box top Fairmont. They look really similar to a Malibu, except for they weigh like 800 pounds less. So we saved this thing out of the junkyard. It was gonna get crushed. If you don't know, we actually saved five vehicles, four of which were Fairmonts and one LTD wagon. We actually bought two more and they ended up crushing them on us, unfortunately. But this thing has an old trusty inline six in it. And we're gonna try to see if we can get this thing run. It's been parked for like 25 years at least. And it's probably gonna give us some trouble because we tried to get two other cars running out of this junkyard already and both of them would not run now the black fairmont wagon had a locked up engine that we could not get loose it just had rust all inside of it and then the black fairmont futura 302 car apparently it had jumped time so we're going to try maybe third time's a charm guys what do you think can we get it running yes let's get odds on this percentages 60 percent 60 percent chance yes. it runs yes 45 oh 45 15 percent huh? Wow, see, you can always count on Squeezy, can't you? So let's get these casings aired up and get it up to the shop. Get some oil in the cylinders and see if this thing will spin over or not. Woo! Woo! Do you love this beautiful car? No. You think it'll hold air long enough to get to the house? No. I no. don't know. No. I remember that front one was going down flat I quick when we cleaned it up. Might have popped a Pringle. Probably. Man, that thing's coming up quick, isn't it? Yeah. You better get it for a pop. It's fine. It won't pop. It will. Hey, tell her, Ralphie. Impossible. Need a little more. This used to be flat on the bottom. Now it's flat on the top. What'd you hook it to? I don't know. But I hooked something. It'll work. <laughs> you didn't know what you hooked it to? No. Be fine. What I hooked it to. <laughs> that's, the, that's the gas tank strap. That's not where you hook it. Well, right, right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh -huh. You hooked it here? Yeah. <laughs> I hooked it to here first. And I was like, well, that's kind of, you know, I'm not Really? Worried. You probably just hook it right here, but I don't want to bend the aluminum. It's probably wrap it around this bar. Classic jewel. Don't want to bend the aluminum bumper here. Ralphie's back in your car over here. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Terrible. Oh, Wrong, pedal. Wrong pedal, he said. <laughs> Come on back. You're good. Come on back. You're good. Whoa. Driving like a maniac. I was trying to push the weight and I just like floored the gas. 
She's still leaking quite a bit. Maybe we can make it to the house. Gotta yeah, make sure my hood's latched before we take off. I don't want that thing blowing up on me. Right, Wawa? Yeah, that's correct. But this <laughs> Look at that. That's a low rider seat. This is like really crunchy. Yeah. Okay. I'll follow you. Oh, Lord. We have no brakes, by the way. I think we even took the front caliper off this thing from memory. But it does roll. We got it to roll in the last video. I just love this thing. It has a good back seat. I've always wanted a box top Fairmont two door. Always. Never owned one until this one. Oh. You gotta hit the hit this with a running start because we got a muddy field. Oh my god, we're sliding. I gotta get up the hill. Two flats, Lord. We're already on two flats. <laughs> Hold on, wait, wait. Let me air these casings back up. We're about to be flat. Don't you understand? Oh, oh. Man, she broke my legs on that, didn't she? Nope, nope. Get out of there. All right, let's go. I hear the air going out of the casings. Don't you, Granny? Don't you hear it? We're gonna like it. We're good. We're good. Ooh, look how close we are. Oh, gosh. I hope she remembers I have no brakes. She's going awful fast. I think we got a square casing, don't we? What is that? Is it we got another flat back there? Right, that's good. Yeah, we definitely got another flat again. Every time the casing went around, you could hear like air going like, like <laughs> funny. Watch out, Grant. She'll run you over, I promise. So, our first thing we got to do here is pull the plugs out of this and get some oil down on the cylinders. Now, if you look, somebody stole the carburetor off of it, but we bought a new one, so we got that covered, hopefully. Somebody also stole the radiator out of it, but we got one of those from the failed attempt on the Futura. And this is a powerhouse. Yes, it is. Son. Let's see what our plugs look like here. This thing has electronic ignition. That may or may not be a good thing, depending on how this goes. Hey, that looks really nice, actually. This thing may run. We may have a runner here. Now, the other one we did from the same junkyard, when we pulled the valve cover, it was completely rusted up in there. All the rockers were stuck, and when we went to turn it over, we bent the push rods. So, hopefully, we don't have that problem here. We're putting a little Marvel Mystery oil down the cylinders. And, guys, this is a crock pot not a microwave situation here you don't just put this oil in and automatically freeze the engine up so we're gonna have to let this thing sit and soak for a little bit and we'll come back to it right wawa yep and they bought bosch supers with the gold package i mean they went all in on this one somebody cared about this car this is the third plug back it's a little black i think i can do the lung pour here ralphie style <laughs> They just keep getting dirtier the farther back. Mom just had a good idea. We have a camera to go inside the cylinders. We might as well use it. Look at that. Oh my gosh, Dad, stop. I think I got a bat in my cave. Dad, nobody wants to see you ah. now. Nope. Is it rusty? Yes. Is it? A little bit. I, I consider that rusty. That's a lot of carb in there. Is that the cylinder wall? That may be shiny. That cylinder wall looks good, doesn't it? Is that what I'm looking at? Yes, mm -hmm. Yeah. We may be okay here. Of course, the Maybe. other one, the, the cylinder walls were fine, and the rockers were sort of rusted up. Pretty rusty down in there, because it's had the carb off. But hopefully that sock was in there the whole time. That's one can only hope, right? Yes. How could you spill it? <laughs> oh, we're getting a long pour. Oh. Come on, Ralphie, just pour it in there. Oh my gosh, only you can spill it going in that big of a hole. Well, that Marvel Mystery Oil is time released, okay? So we gotta let it do its job. We're gonna go make some room for this in the shop and figure out a way to get in there. I think we're gonna have to change some casings out as well. How many years does it have to be flat in one spot for it to stay that way? 
But it's got racing brakes, son. I should have put these on down the field. We wouldn't have as many problems getting out of there. Can't forget that. Don't hurt your little piggies. I know. Ralphie, get the big hammer. Incredible, son. Thank you. Nice, aren't they? Yeah. Oh man, this thing's looking so much better already. <laughs> Watt walls and the caps on there. They just had a new seat. Front seat. Yeah. The passenger seat is crunchy. Come on. It's crunchy. What are you being so nosy for, Rocky <laughs> Jr.? It's just an old casing. <laughs> Y'all take care of it, okay? But the whole herd's coming. So we did the old switcheroo. Now we got this thing. It's gonna be our brakes instead of our gas. Oh, is he going to go up? Why, Rocky? This is a 78 Fairmont, if I didn't say. Clear marker lights, 78. Slowly. Slowly! Rocky! What's he going to do that tonight? I don't know. Well, it's not a very wide car. You're kind of on the ramps. What, he? Oh. You got this. Oh. Oh, Lord. Yeah. All right. It's probably been a long time since this car has been in the dry. Thanks, babe. Look at that. How cool is that, huh? We just gotta let this thing soak in now. It's got to get. Exactly. We'll see you guys in a couple days. Just when we thought we were done working, Mike shows up. Oh my gosh. This ain't good. You know they're going to want me to buy one. Hey. Oh no. Go slow. sneaking out to come down to your house now and we're back it's actually the next day we'll start out by trying by rocky come on we're trying to do the, <laughs> Even the intro here. Come on. <laughs> but we're going to try to turn it over by hand and see if that works if not we're going to start turning on this crank and see if this thing will turn over we took the hood off of it too yeah please turn <laughs> oh, that's not a good sign so the water pump and alternator are turning, but it is completely stuck on the crank. Oh, why do they always find us, huh? Yeah. Well, we did have good luck out of Blazer. Don't mind me, just make yourself comfortable. He loves his chair. Rocky, we gotta get this thing to turn over. We can't do this three times in a row with these cars out of this junkyard. They must be cursed or something, huh? Yeah. Can we get that fan blade off? Well, it's looking that way, isn't it? It's gonna, be, it's gonna be right in our way. Should be a half inch. Try to take the fan blade off. Oh, Lord, no. Let Wawa get a grip on it, see if she can get it. Oh my golly. Can you give it a bump? Sometimes it bumps. No bumps. <sighs> Did you get it? Yeah. There you go. What are you doing? Yeah, you're such a good boy. That's more like it, isn't it? Just had to find it. That's a good tool. I'm getting it. It's right there. <laughs> Come on. Ah! There you go. It's going to take the belts off this thing. Just so we don't have any more drag than we have to. Golly, that's tight, wasn't it? Oh, did it just break? Power steering bracket just broke. This boss back here just broke off when I did that. See it coming around? This ain't a good looking start here. I don't know. That's not good. And then the bolt below it, the adjuster bolt snapped. 
Oh, that belt is stuck in there. See that? Sometimes it's the belt that's stuck. I would be very happy if it's the belt that's stuck. See how stuck they get? Man, they get stuck. Hear that? That could be it. I oh, mean, that'd be nice. It's like rusting in there, isn't it? Yeah, it's rusting into all the pulleys. I guess since we already have a broke bolt and bracket, I'm just gonna cut the power steering belt. Are you gonna put that on? The only thing holding it now should be the crank. I'm just gonna. <laughs> you can't eat the seats. No. It says tell me I can't do it. It's not for you, Rocky. No, no. I don't need the seats. It's just tightening. It's just tightening. I'm hanging right now. Oh. I, I'm hanging. Okay. That's just tightening. Is that doing anything? Let's turn the bolt. I guess I'm gonna try my hand at it now. <laughs> that is not a good sign. Is it gonna be three in a row? I think the LTD might have a chance of starting down the line. Unless it's stuck then. If it's not stuck then it might be. Ow! <clears throat> Since we've been down this road before, with the exact same top engine. We might as well pull the valve cover because that was what was wrong last time is the rockers were totally stuck. Yeah. It what wasn't the bottom end, it was the <laughs> rockers. What is Rocky doing? <laughs> what the heck? I think he's in the RV. What is all this commotion in here? It was in the end of a hose. Look at it. Oh I'm gonna goodness. put it in the ultrasonic cleaner. You gotta fix up the spark plug. Of course he's found something to doctor up. <laughs> Somebody's already took the front bolt out of the valve cover. How did I know he'd be doing that? That was a leap of faith if I ever seen it. Okay. He had nowhere to go once he was up there. Oh. He's gonna eat those leaves. Well, at least he's gonna do something I actually need him to do, huh? You know what I mean? Oh my lord. Oh, that's the only one I can find. It's too long. Well, was that thing out? No, I just took that off. Oh, I was about to say. You got a little something right here, buddy. Here we go. All right, Rocky. I need to get the valve cover off of it, actually, <laughs> while you're trying to hold it down there. Let's go. Come on. Good boy. I'm wishing so good. Nope. Nope. You're not getting it. Off. This bolt for this throttle bracket, which is almost as in the way as this goat is. He really wants to love on you. What is it? Your lips are so soft. He does have soft lips. Mysteries. What's under here? That's the question. <laughs> is it rusted up like the last one? Oh, Lord. Lord. This kick down rod for the transmission was in the way. Sure. Uh, look. It's the center ones, isn't it? They're really Why? bad. Why the center ones? Oh, there's not even a, a hole in the center. I guess let's give them a bounce with a hammer here. Maybe we what can break those. Well, we need to put some spray? PB Blaster on them. Right here. I know he's going to be on that. I saw them there, bud. Is Rocky going to try to eat it or not? Why do they rust under the valve cover? A lot of this is sludge though. This looks more like rust here. That is crusty. Yeah, here's what happens. The humidification comes up from exhaust tubes. <laughs> what? He's gonna step on it. Oh, oh. Rocky, come on. He's bro. walking a tightrope. Look at him. Come on, just get off. Have you ever seen the like? Oh. You hug him up better than I do. That's how you're supposed to kick him. Yeah. See, he kicked me last time I tried to do that. You scared him today? Yeah, he was like, oh. That one's bouncing, isn't it? Yeah, they're bouncing. Oh, see that? Nope. That one's staying down. That one's stuck. That one's bouncing. I think it bounced, yeah. That one's bouncing. That one's wanting to stick. Maybe we can get them freed up. It's not as bad as the last one. That one's stuck and then came free. And stuck and then came free. Why are you so stuck? Put a little more PB around that. Hold on. I'm about to 
soaking. You're gonna run out with your <laughs> So what I think we should do is take the rocker shaft loose and that way we can't bend any push rods or break any valves or anything. Is that a because last time we bent all our push rods trying to do this, and maybe we can get the bottom end to spin without it opening valves. I don't understand why the rockers rust up so bad on these. The humidity. It must just be where we got these things from. It's just so swampy there. I don't think they change their oil much, Ralphie. No. It's sure not looking like it, is it? No. You know, once again, there's less stuff at the back as there is at the front. It's kind of weird. We gave up on the ratchet. Yeah. So much quicker. So this is called a shaft mounted rocker arm system, Ralphie. It's kind of cool how it comes oh, off there, isn't it? So like every push rod pushes every one up and down. That one's stuck. Some of them are turning stuck. now. That one turns. A few of these are stuck. Let's see if it was the valves that are stuck or the rockers. That one's not stuck. Nope. 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 Hey, we may be okay. Okay, our valves are not stuck. Let's see if we can break the bottom end loose. Okay, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I was just losing myself on it. Really? It's still that stuck? Oh! It did it. It did it. It's free. It's free. No way. Is it going to turn all the way around? Ha <laughs> ha. How awesome is that? Do you see any push rods moving yet? Yeah. That one went <laughs> up and that one went up. <sighs> That's awesome. <laughs> is the cam like really big on these? It's long. It's the whole length engine. Is it like big or? Yeah, they're oh, moving. Man. Oh, that's good news. Well, maybe we can spin it over with a starter. I really need to make a complete rotation on this. So we've got to get those rockers freed up. And we got to clean that out. We do need to clean that out. That is a terrible mess. What is this stuff? <sighs> oh. Ooh, it hit something solid. I um, hear it. I just kind of thread the plugs back in. I think we just hit a fluid limit there. I think we're about to hydraulic something. How's your steamy spark plug oh. done? That's very toasty. Yeah, it's hot. It's 49 degrees Celsius. I put it on 70. Why, why are you trying to clean this plug up? Yeah. I'll buy you one. They're like $3. I'll sell it. Are you going to sell this plug when you get done yeah. with it? Oh my gosh. Things you focus on. Huh. Yeah, I had just threaded these back in there just so nothing would fall down in there, I guess, is what I was thinking. We can hear it kind of squeaking out around the threads. If you're wondering where the girls are, Wawa and Mom had to go to a school meeting, so they're going to be excited when they get back and find out this thing broke loose. Yeah. I mean, Mom would have definitely made some loud Mom would have thing. Woo! Exactly. You notice there's no holes in the push rods? So it doesn't oil through the push rods. It oils up through the rocker shafts and then drips down. Oh, oh sorry. that's what we were running into right there. See the fluid come out? Yeah. So you cannot compress a liquid. If you spin the engine over and it's full of water or antifreeze or oil and you bend a rod, it's called hydraulicing a rod because you've got hydraulic pressure and you cannot compress a liquid. So it uh, just ends up bending a rod or whatever. So you wouldn't want to spin over on the starter with all that fluid in there. Yeah, we'll spin over. Oh. Ooh. I think Wawa put the fluid in that one. She must have put a bunch. Well, it's spinning over now, isn't it? Yeah. Easy. Where's the ratchet? We'll just do it with the ratchet. Oh! Ha! Well, that's not the other skinny up. Oh, that one must have had a lot in it, huh? Okay. Awesome. I guess we're going to try to clean this thing up in the parts washer here. All the threads are gooped up with that stuff. It is completely caked up again. So how many of them are stuck? We got that one's free, that one's free, free 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 stuck stuck kind of stuck free 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 okay so it's just the middle ones huh yeah all right well let's clean them up in here i don't know how much of it is rust and how much of it is junk but here's you a shot of it before we start cleaning on it Blue. it's your favorite part isn't it yeah. something that's really cruddy that you can get the stuff off easily we shouldn't have trouble getting that off there Ooh, i don't think 
Oh, yeah, in the diesel. That black Fairmont was a lot worse than this one, though, on the rocker shafts. Yeah. They weren't salvageable. And, the, and remember, the valves themselves were stuck, too. Well, after a bunch of cleaning, we got the rocker shafts cleaned up really nice. We also went ahead and cleaned the push rods and the bolts for this. All these are really free, They're really good. We just got these two guys here. It's moving a little bit now. Of course, this cam don't lift a whole lot, I wouldn't think. We've resorted to the bias now. This is gonna work, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> what if we get all this done and it's like, jump time or something. Look at that pose. That's probably good enough, isn't it? Yeah. I'm feeling better about this. I was really down that when it wouldn't turn over at all. We may be able to get this one to run. Rockies decide to inspect my auto body. No, no, you can't eat copper pins. No, no, no. How does he open this stuff? You can't eat rubber gloves. This is what we got to clean up now. We do not want to leave all this junk in here. It's weird. It's just like the other one. There's more junk at the front than there is at the back. I think we need like a screwdriver to dig it out with. Ow! <laughs> Is he gonna make that jump? Good. <laughs> Good decision, Rocky. He must not change your earls, huh? Yeah. Is that certified Ralphie clean now? Yeah. I think we can drop our push rods in, set our rocker shafts back on, spin this thing over with a starter. Woo. Usually the starter still one's bad though. If history repeats itself. Oh, you hear that lifter go down? Another one that lifter was up to. I, I like the way it goes together. It makes it a lot easier. You're just sitting the whole thing down at once like that. Oh, Rocky, that's not helping at all, Rocky. Come on, bud. Work with a goat, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Is he going for the roof? Don't go for the roof, Rocky. He's going for the roof for sure. Oh, <laughs> he chickened out, didn't he? Yeah. He does look very majestic up there, though. Have your odds went up any on whether or not it's going to start? Oh, yeah. No, 68. 68%, okay. Yeah. How's that done, Evie? At least two Ugga Duggas on that. Is that two? That's good. That's good to go. At least if he's here, I know he's not eating a rubber glove somewhere. You ready? Oh, man. Wow. Incredible. Yeah. Found a battery? Yeah. I want to spin this over now that it's all connected. All right, we got valves open and closing. Even these two. As long as those valves are open and closing at the correct time, we might be all right, Ralphie. Now, let's put a battery on this for the first time in 25 plus years. Huh? We'll see anything. Why don't you get in there and try the key, Ralphie, and see if it'll turn over. Okay. Where's the horn? Don't worry about the horn. Ready? Yeah. I need a light on. The interior light, come on. Okay, try to see if it'll spin the engine over. No. Nothing? No. I wonder if our starter's still on. I don't even hear it clicking out here. Is the key messed up? I don't know. At least we got a lot. Nothing. So I we went ahead and got our jump starter that we got from Australia, and we unhooked the S side of the solenoid, and it was actually clean metal under there from where it had been covered up all these years. So we're basically jumping power from the positive side of the battery Straight to the S side of the Ford solenoid. Here we go. Nothing. Solenoid? Probably our solenoid, yeah. Come on, Rocky. Please. Don't work against us, buddy. It's your bedtime. It's dark outside. Come on. Figuring out how to pick him up. Come on. Let's go to bed. Come on. We got to go get a starter solenoid. We keep one of these in stock all the time, don't we? Yeah. These seem to always go out, don't they? Yeah. If they've been sitting 20, 30 years, they always Probably go out. like the battery and stuff. Corrosion. Yeah. 
I do like these old solenoids, but they seem to go out when they sit for a long time. We've seen a lot of them that end up being cracked when we take them off, but made in the U.S. of A. Do you think it'll start with a key now? Maybe. I hope so. Yeah, give it a try. No. Nothing? No. Let's try this. <coughs> hey! Oh! Now, why does one sound different than the rest? Doesn't one sound way louder? You can hear ch ch out of one? Yeah. Let's check compression with my thumb here. At least it spins over, though. Yeah. Go again. There's no compression on that one. Go ahead. Go again. Go again. Yeah, the third one back. Try one more time. That hole's completely dead for some reason. Is that bad? It ain't good. We got our Tesla on camera here again. Third? We're gonna give it a peek into the third cylinder. I see rust over there. Now, is that a valve hung open? Yeah, that's a valve open, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That's our deal. We got a hung valve. Okay. That's weird. They all popped up and down. Why does that have that? It's like the bottom of those spark plugs. Did it? Yeah. Oh, wait. It's got a non fouler. <laughs> That's not a good sign. What's a non fouler? It keeps the plugs from fouling. I didn't even notice that. Good eye, Ralphie. I couldn't see it in there. That means the engine was wore out before. Uh, this is a cylinder that looks stuck. <laughs> That's weird because they look like they're doing the correct thing. It does seem like it's weak on compression on some cylinders, but usually if they'll start, they'll come back around. So maybe the whole thing will come back around. An ultimate loop, right? And they're just all in each other. Oh way. man, you cracked the code, didn't you? Yeah. I think we should try to start it with the valve cover off. Why? Just because it's cool. We can see it running like. <laughs> if it actually runs and is worthy, then we'll buy a valve cover gasket for it. So here's a big question I have. Does this thing have spark? Let's see, go ahead. No spark. Oh, is the key on? No. That would help. Okay, key on. Go ahead. All right, no spark. The girlies are back. Hit it, Ralphie. What do you think? I, I ain't believing it. I Can you believe it? I, I ain't believing it. it. That's crazy! Yeah. Hey, that's a miracle in itself right there. Yeah. We got at least some compression on five of the cylinders. So we got to figure out why we don't have spark, and we got to get a carburetor on there with some fuel. But that's going to be tomorrow because it's late. So we will see y'all tomorrow. This is Adrian's wild baby's first time out of the barn. Come on. We're going to see how he does. Come on. He's like, I'm not allowed out here. Come on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew it'd be this hard? Mama. She don't like the cat. Oh, ooh, ooh. standoff. <laughs> He's like, I can run. He's all grown up now, isn't he? No. He'll be fine. Show up. All right, we're back. Is it gonna run? Yes. Is today the day? Yes, maybe. So we got the cheapest car money can buy here. Off of eBay. You might want a gasket on that, though. Oh, yeah. But I think this was like a... Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. I think this was like, I don't know, it's like 50 bucks or something like that off of eBay. It's just like a universal one barrel. It looks like our gasket surface. Oh, Lord. They must have cleaned it off for us, huh? Comes with two gaskets. That one doesn't fit. No, it comes with three. That one doesn't fit. Eat a mini money mo. That's the only option we got, Ralphie. Wait, 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 I think we had a, didn't we find a nut down here? I saw one. Look, they left a nut, I think, for it right there. You're just in a hurry to put this on. Yeah, I need. See if that nut fits it. Okay. Well, it looks nice on there. It looks like the It looks like the nicest up. thing about this car. Oh, oh yeah. It's like filled up with junk. We had pretty good luck with these car bears. I think we got the same one on the Metro Mod. It runs like a top. The nut we found apparently doesn't fit. And I can tell by looking at it, this is a really Three. fine thread. Three eighths. Maybe we have something in here. Wow, Granny, how did you get in here? She followed the girls in. Oh gosh. <laughs> She's real, real needy today. It looks like it is a 24 thread. So it's a 3 eighths, 24. I ain't never checked a thread on nothing in my I life. Know. 
We're gonna fix those threads because they are so rusted up, I can't fit them on. There's no telling how long they've been no. off there in the elements. Look at all the rust that was in these threads. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Knock them down that hole. No. <laughs> they knew now. I think now we're ready, Ralphie. Okay. Okay. Put it on this far. Wait, is the 13 the same as the That's not the same. That's why it's called 13. It's smaller. Don't crank down one side all the way. Do like a little bit on one, a little bit on the other. Well, I have snapped the ear off those. Well, now I can loosen it. Oh. <laughs> well, we gotta figure out why we don't have any spark. Somebody turn the key on. Let me see if I have power to this cool. Yeah. All right, I have no power whatsoever coming to the cool. The fuel gauge is moving. Maybe look somebody left some gas in it for us. The key's still on. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So we have power coming into our ignition module here. There's a white and a red wire, and our white wire has 12 volts going to it. Uh, oh, this may be it right here, Ralphie. The outlet off of our ignition module is completely unplugged. She looking rough on that one end. They put some sort of like dielectric grease or something on them. Which way does this go? Looks like it goes that way. No, it goes this way. Maybe that's why our coil wasn't having any power, maybe. The key's still on? Yep, we got voltage now. Score! Ralphie, get on the starter button there. She said the dash is doing weird things. That's factory. Just let me know if smoke comes out of it, okay? Yeah, good deal. All right, crank it over, Ralphie. All right, all right, all right. We got right. spark. I felt it in my toes. Did you really? Yes, uh, <gasps> it got me a little. Oh. So we need to put our new spark plugs in this. I we have spark, that. and we're gonna have fuel. What? what he he, he just, felt it in his toes. Just a tingle, nothing much, no more than a tingle. It probably was more than. I turned the key off, wall. Yeah. I wanted to take this non-fowler out, and every socket I have won't fit. Look how tight it is in there. Wow. It's jammed up right against the cylinder head, and I just what? I can't get any sockets to fit it. Why don't you just wow. leave it? I guess we're gonna have to. I really don't like doing that, but I guess we're gonna have to leave it in there for now. Why is it bad? It's, I mean, the plug's designed to be in the combustion chamber. It basically brings your spark back off into a tube, and I don't like that. What do you think about it, Granny? I remember when they were produced. It's got them big boy plugs that are like the size of your thumb. Little known fact, they have the same threads as an oxygen sensor. So That's you can actually good. take a non-fowler from one of these cars, cut it in half, and use it as an auction sensor, bung. We did verify that the plugs did have a gap of some sort. They weren't crushed or anything. I just noticed too that our fuel hose to our tank is not even hooked up. Look at that. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's wow. some brittle beans if I ever seen them. Oh, for sure. That's crazy, isn't it? Usually the pumps don't work, but we'll try it. The distributor vacuum vents says gay on it. Why would that say gay on it? It's happy, Dad. It's That's like the weird. factory letters on it are gay. I don't know what it means. <laughs> I've never noticed that one before. That's great. I'm gonna need somebody to test this fuel filter for me. Does it work? I wouldn't yes. breathe in. I was just gonna have you blow <laughs> through it. That filter isn't clogged up and it has the right eighth inch pop thread fitting. So we're gonna use it on this right here. All right, we got our boat tank hooked up. We just need to put a hose there, Ralphie, to the carb, and we'll have everything hooked up. You really don't need hose clamps, do you, on a fuel line? No, I don't mean, worry about it. If it fits tight, you're good. Exactly. We're gonna fill this carb up with some fuel, and we're gonna see if she'll run. Okay, we majorly flooded it. Look, it's pouring fuel out down there. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. Well, it has fluid in the transmission. Give it a sniffy. Is it certified? I don't know. Yeah. So it does have transmission fluid in it. Did we ever check the engine oil? I don't know. It's oh, like it's the got oil. Look at that. Ever. Says it right there. It's safe. We're just in the safe zone. It's like the shortest dipstick ever. Yeah, except for you. <laughs> You're so stupid. Check us out on other platforms at Sleeper Dude 88. Okay, moment of truth. So weird. I, I, like, I think it needs some. 
24 volts. Oh, God. Gets it every time. Something doesn't sound right. Do you hear like one cylinder when it comes around it doesn't sound right? Uh, no, we have normal. Here? We have normal ears. What is that? Oh, the transmission. There's no transmission cooler. Well, the pump works. All right, let's get a hose on that. You should just like connect it to that line down there. I was thinking that before you were born, son. <laughs> what even is that? That's the other transmission line. I probably need to clamp it though. No. Jed. No. We won't have this problem anymore, will we? No. I feel like it would already have enough fuel, but maybe I not. Think it needs 24 I tell you what we need to do. We need to let that pump into a jug so we can see if the pump is working. Your first fuel coming out may be all nasty, you know? We got our old pine saw jar here for this ultrasonic cleaner. That'll tell us if our fuel pump is working at all. It's not even trying, isn't it? I don't think there's anything pushing in there. Uh, I gotta tell you something that she needs. What? 24 volts! I second the motion. I third it. All in favor say aye. 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 Say first to Tim and y'all want a 24 volt motor. Motion oh, approved. Too slow. Hook up another battery. So we got our timing light here that a fan actually sent us. We're gonna see what our timing is like. It's not even sparking now. What? We Do we any... come unplugged? No. We had spark earlier. Let me try this. I'll put it on the cool water and see what happens. Okay. I have it on the cool. And it's working. Do I have it? Which way? Okay. We're not getting spark to the plug. Just... We're getting it to, from the cool though. Do we have a rotor in it? We didn't even pop the distributor caps. <laughs> OMG. Well, I mean, I didn't take it apart. We'll see. It has a rotor. Ooh, look how corroded these. Hey. It just so happens I do have a new cap and rotor and plug wire, so I guess I'm just gonna replace everything in the ignition system. We got this all from Wrong Auto. We'll see how it goes. I don't know why they went with these big, huge caps. It seems like this could all fit in a smaller package, doesn't it? Yeah, that's pretty corroded up on the end there. I just love cars with distributors. I kind of miss that when you work on like a new engine, like an LS or whatever. I like messing with a distributor and having mechanical control of the timing. So you just hold these things up just like you caught Bugs Bunny. And you know, on inline six, longest ones go towards the back. Well, maybe that was our issue. We'll see. If not, I just spent $12 for nothing. Ooh, look down the bottom of that master cylinder. How nasty it is. Oh, wow, that's thick. Oh yeah, that's thicker than them girls at the Dollar General. This is a long pour here. I wonder where Ralphie gets that. Let that marinate there. Yeah, I see bubbles. Here you go. Still hey. nothing. It's pumping gas? Yeah. Oh, let's see. Well, we have a fuel pump, at least. Good. That's great. But no That's surprising. Well, what's up with that? Let me put it back on the coal wire. Do you work on the coal wire? Yep. Now, why would that be, Ralphie? Who knows? So we know the ignition box is working, the coil is working, the pickup and the distributor is working. We know we have fire coming out of this wire. So all it could be would be between here and there. So that would be rotor, cap, wires. Unless you, you replace them. Doesn't even make any sense, does it? I guess I better hook this fuel line back up. Ooh, look at that. That's why Ooh. it's good to pump it into a jug or something first. So it doesn't get in your carburetor. Everything feels connected. I don't, I don't get it. It flashed that time. Something must have just been I think unplugged. It was just, maybe the wire was just a little bit not connected. Let's see where our timing is then. I didn't really see a mark there that I could tell what it was. Let me bump it around and look at it here. The timing was right about here as it was coming around. You can see where somebody's took a paint marker and marked on it before when they were trying to set the timing right there. So let's see where our timing is at then. 14, 10, 6, 2, 0. Well, that's dead on then because it was right about there. That's 10 degrees. And the vacuum advance is not hooked up. I just checked that. So our timing looks dead on. It actually may be a little high. 
and then I look at it like that. Looks like it's right above the tab, which would be maybe 16 degrees. It's a little too much. That's probably why it's cranking slow. Right there is about eight degrees, which should be probably closer than what to what stock is. Give it a try. There. Is the key on? Is the key on? No. What are you doing? Well, when we're trying to crank it, <laughs> would you put the key on? We may just need to swap out batteries. That thing's not. Or $25. Uh, <laughs> I know what you want me to do. We got a different $40 battery on here. We're going to try it. See if it works. All right, Ralph, you try it. Second and third that motion. I think it, 24 volts would have it zinging, you know. I don't want to burn the ignition box up. Oh, come on. I don't on. worry so much with uh, points, but this has electronic ignition. And be fine. It was close that time, uh, though. Try it again. We need like a she hot wants, leg battery. Yeah, we do. She wants to run. Yeah, it does. It does want to run. All right, let's let the starter cool off. We're going to have to steal a battery out of something. Okay. Because that's all the spares I have around here. Let's get it. See, him is a sweet kitty sometimes. Yeah, him is. There we go. Another $49 special battery. <laughs> I think it paid to buy a big one. I know. <laughs> At least one. Don't you steal my truck battery? It's bigger. <sighs> it's a Connell Craft. Gotta be good. What's that off of? I stole off mom's truck. Yeah. Mom's truck? What? Yeah. Which? The F100. Oh, there's many different mom's trucks. <laughs> <laughs> they're all mom's trucks, aren't they? It's true. I don't like trucks, so. Mom knows mom's. what's good. And they're all my Fairmonts. That's true. You can have every one of them <laughs> till I start selling them. <laughs> Yeah, don't let off unless it's running, buddy. I thought it was. No, it, you'll hear that starter. That starter will tell you it's running. Yeah, you just keep her held down. Exactly. Try it again, Ralphie. Come Really close to running. Oh, we finally gonna get something running on this junk. I think we, I mean, it already puffed out one puff of smoke, so that's more than we've got so far. Yeah, that's more than we got from the other two. It's like right you, on the you can just feel it about to do it. I know it's like oh, it wants to run. We need to let it sit for a minute and cool that starter off again. I mean, you're right. If you put 24 volts to it, it would jump right off. But I don't know what those ignition boxes can take. I don't want to burn it up. We just zinged it for a, little, yeah, a hot like, minute. Y'all you know, ain't good for each other. <laughs> Let's do it. Let it cool off for a second. That starter is probably getting pretty warm. Yes. And if it don't work, we'll put 24 volts to it. So, <laughs> We're gonna put this thing on engine crank mode, 50 amps. Oh, I heard her kick um, on. You heard it, all right. Go, Ralphie. Oh, did you let off? Yes. Go again. Oh, it was so close. We're gonna get there. It's gonna happen. All right, Rappy, don't let off until you hear the starter whining. Go. Right. What in the world? Now I won't even try. 24 volts. Turn the key off. It's popping all up here. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah. All right. One more try here. Don't let off that button. Whatever that is right there is 
smoking. Oh, yeah. Is it just hot? Yeah, I think it's star someone was getting hot, I guess. I don't know what that chunk, cha chunk, cha chunk <laughs> sound is. <laughs> I don't like it, though. Oh, we've got a platform here? Oh, yeah. You see what's going on right here. <laughs> Y'all pop me into it. Oh, man. Good thing we took those floor pans out of the Falcon, huh? Yeah. This negative cable is gonna go to the negative on one battery here. The positive is going to go to the positive on a different battery. And then we have a jumper cable here. And this guy connects the positive from one side to the negative of the other, which doubles the voltage to 24 volts. Wow. And 24 volts. Get your every time. time. Exactly. Hey, you need to get that out of the... <laughs> here. Thank you. I'm gonna touch it. Okay. All right, here we go. I think it blew stuff out of the back tailpipe. Yeah. What is up with that? You promised me at 24 volts. Hey, she time. is, she is hey, getting there, wasn't she? I got an idea. What? what about 36. No. Oh. oh God, 48. That's weird. You think it blew something out? Yeah. Oh yeah, it blew a rat's nest out, didn't it? <laughs> wow. It blew like a whole rat's nest out back here. So is it because it like doesn't have good compression or? Well, that's part of it. Yeah, I mean, it's always, it's usually cause you got valves that aren't sealing great. You got piston rings that aren't sealing great. And after they actually start and run, they usually start up a lot easier after that. The only other thing we might could have would be like cam timing issues. Like if the timing chain jumped or something, which we think is what was wrong with the 302. Futura that came out of that junkyard, but I mean, we know the engine can't be too healthy because it's got a, a non fouler on one cylinder. That's true. Let's pull the plugs out though and see if maybe the plugs have like oil in the gaps or something or dirt. Maybe fouling the plugs out. We'll clean them up real quick. Oh, it pulled the whole non fouler out. Well, is that a good thing? Yeah, we'll just put it back without the non fouler in it. Oh, wow, look down in there where what? that non fouler has been there so long. Look how it's crunked up around it. It's steaming. Damn. See, it basically keeps the plug out of the nasty oil. Keeps it from fouling. It sounds like gas. I'll probably pull all the plugs out and just spin it over. Clean the thing out some. Well, the fifth one back is pretty dirty. Yeah. But none of them have like the gap full of oil or anything. Nothing weird there. We'll just clean them off. Squeeze, you want to man the button here for a second? Yeah, I do. All right, Squeeze, you hit the button. We'll just spin it over real quick. All right. All right. <laughs> So, I didn't see any fluids really come out of there. Did you guys? Yeah. Hmm. You can't see over the dash. Don't worry. You got a gas tank above your head. It's fine. We're going to do a compression test on this thing while we got all the plugs out of it. Just to get an idea of where we're at now. We may not want to know this information, though. Yeah. All right. Hit it, squeeze. Uh, 60. So, that's, that's enough to run. That's not zero. Yeah, that's not good, but that's enough to run. She sounds like she's shucking corn, don't she? That's 70. That's 70. This is the one we didn't have any compression on with my thumb. Oh, we got 70. That valve must have freed up. Yeah, that's okay, that's good. That one's got about 55. Mm, but that's not zero. Yeah. We're pretty dead even. We got about 60-ish on everyone. So what's the deal? I bet it's that one non-fowler. That's what's keeping us from running. If we had that one non-fowler out of there, we'd probably run with it. I hope so. Right, we'll clean these off and throw them back in. What's but, the what? Yeah, but there's like not Super nearly as many viewers. Cool. We got it all back together now. I don't really know what else to try. It doesn't really make sense to me why it hasn't worked. Let me see it. I'm gonna run this button. Rod knocking. Is that what that is? I think it's Uncle Rodney done paid her a visit. It's like it's almost running there on 24 volts. It would not start though. It just kept turning and turning, but That's it keeps kicking stuff out. I do hear some sort of noise, some rattling, crunching noise. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like a bad spot on the 
flex plate or what? It seems like this carburetor is only working correctly at one spot. Like at idle, it won't even try to start. But wide open, it won't even try to start. Like right in the middle, it tries to start. I'm gonna check the idle mixture screw here. Three and a half turns. Ooh. I'll put it back to like a turn and a half. We'll see what that does. Maybe we should throw some nitrous to it. <laughs> That's not gonna make it start. Yeah, it will. Hey. You know what you do? Give, Give her a little nitrous. drink. You get a bottle, spray it right in the car, it'll run. I promise you. I think we got you a nitrous bottle in here. No, we're right? not spraying nitrous to try to start it. Yeah, we should. Smoking or anything back there? Throwing junk out? Just a little bit. Early. But it's not, it won't stay running though. But you, you, could, you couldn't even see it going up and down, it was going so quick. Oh, it's like it's running on the starter, and then as soon as you let off, it's not. And it's backfiring through the carb. Hold on, are we losing the spark when we let off? Light bulb. I've had a car do this before, where you lost spark when you let off the button. But it doesn't explain why it's got fire blowing out of the carburetor. That's like a timing issue usually. I was ready to rip off my hoodie. You hold this, and you point it at my face, and we're gonna see if it loses spark here. Key on. Yep. Okay, it was sparking that whole time, but I was still on the button. That starter is toasty. I heard an idea. What? You know how far it's flammable? No, not happen. I locked the choke open because it seems to lock that. Ooh. That was creepy. What's up with that? Oh. Uh. We got a problem. We have done a starter in or a flex plate, one of the two. Ew. I almost feel like it has ran. Like, that thing was sitting there running on the starter is what I feel like, you know? She popped out some smoke. Guys, unfortunately, we've ran out of charged up batteries tonight. And it looks like we've ran out of starters. Well, that was fun. Oh, it's smoking. Well, here's something. It says 76 to... Yeah, that is a spare starter that I have off of the black Fairmont wagon. Feel how hot that starter is, Ralphie. Oh! Is it burning? Yeah, it's very hot. Like, yeah, you want to touch that, Wawa? <laughs> Mr. Calluses can't feel nothing. Why are most of them never easy, you know? Because they're old cars that sit in the junkyard. There's a reason why they end up in a junkyard, right? Yeah. Um, pretty much it. Well, we're going to let the starter cool down. That thing's like... I'm gonna say 167 degrees right now. Oh my god. It, it's uh, probably correct. He, you, it's know, probably, you know he's probably like, I, I know, wish we had a temp it. gun. We're just gonna have to work on this tomorrow again. It's already pretty late. This is the stuff you run into when a car has really been parked for 30 years. Yeah. yeah, they usually are a booger. We're gonna put about six batteries on the charge and we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Well, it's like 6 30 in the morning, not a soul in sight. Kids and all them are still asleep. I'm gonna try to pull the starter off now that it's cold and see if we've ruined the flex plate or ruined the starter or what. Hopefully this isn't a catastrophic ending to this video. We're about to find out. Thankfully, this is a pretty easy starter to get to down here. These little inline sixes aren't too hard to work on as far as getting to stuff usually. Can you fit through there? Oh, there you go. It's got all this stupid EGR stuff. Oh, you're gonna have to come out all the way up here, aren't you? All right, what do we got? Well, the starter teeth are still there. Uh-oh, <laughs> it's not a good sign, probably. Oh, that's what we were hearing. 
Look how much rust is on the teeth. That's that grinding noise. Can you see all the sparklies with the metal? Yeah, it's like glittery looking because it's shaved all that metal off. Grinding those teeth down. The bell housing must have been sitting in the water. I bet if we rotate this around, it probably has good teeth somewhere else. Yeah, look how much better shape that is. It was very swampy where these cars were. And I bet that's that crunching noise I heard. Because look, you come around here, you can see it was sitting in the water. From right there, right there is where we ground our teeth off. Man, that's a bummer. Maybe we can rotate this thing around though like this. Start it from the opposite side. I just don't know why this thing won't run for me. After thinking about last night, I believe I'm losing power either to the coal or our... DuraSpark box when we're letting off the solenoid. Like it's getting power only when the starter's running and then when we back off it dies. I had a 2.3 turbo swap I did in my Maverick years ago and that's what it was. It took me two weeks to figure it out but it would start and run on the starter and as soon as you back the key off it would die. Which we're not running off the key we're running off that but still I'm gonna go through this DuraSpark wiring diagram I found and see where we're getting power and what we're doing and I'm probably just gonna hot wire this box and coil here and try it that way. That's all I know to do. So what I figured out is we're getting power to the white wire, which I checked before, and it's supposed to have power when you're in crank position, which upon messing with that, I figured out that it's only getting power when the ignition is in crank and it hangs up there so it'll stay in that spot. But the red wire is supposed to get power when you're on the run position. Well, when you put that ignition switch on run position, it's not getting power to that red wire. So basically what I did was I took a yellow wire straight from the battery to this red wire and same thing, red wire to the coil, full 12 volts. So the coil is actually supposed to drop down to six volts once it's in the run position, but we're just gonna run her on 12. Hopefully we don't burn it up. And look who's finally woke up, huh? Yep. Let me show you what the flex plate looks like. Mm, I don't know. I think it was our noise we heard. 24 volts gets her every time. Yeah, it does get her, yeah. Look, starting here. What? It was underwater. <clears throat> that's Look good. at this, watch. <clears throat> right, that's where we ground the teeth off, right mm. there. I don't know if this is going to work or not. It may go around that and just stop. But it may keep enough inertia to go past it, you know. We may have just stopped at the exact wrong spot that time, you know. Oh, maybe. But I think our starter's still good, surprisingly, after what it's been through. Some people only have a few good tastes. That's, That's true, but we haven't been to the Waffle House lately. So we're gonna have 12 volts go into the ignition box. Hopefully we don't let any smoke out of it here. It's got 12 volts in both positions right now. Uh, since we're having trouble with this, should we just zing it on 24 and try it and see, like as a last ditch effort? Because maybe on 24 it's spinning fast enough it'll catch the next tooth. I say 24 all the way, but it's not catch on this. It don't look like. Let's give it one more shot on 12. I'm afraid the flex plate's not going fast enough to catch the next the next tooth when it comes right. around. Maybe on 24 it has enough inertia inertia to catch it. Inertia? Is that a word? <laughs> All right, that's not gonna work. And you had it. We should sell this as a kit, you know? That's a 24 volt kit. <laughs> it comes with a mount plate and that's that's hilarious. this jumper cable deal. I hope this works. Yeah. So I'm putting a ballast resistor in line to knock the 24 volts down to 12 going to the ignition system. Try not to burn this thing up too bad. Let me give this a bump around here. Good spot on the teeth. So wanted to start. Hey, my theory was correct though. It carried enough inertia it did. to grab the good teeth. So it's grinding as it goes past that spot. What's up with the fireballs that wants to blow what? out? It's like, it's like coo -coo 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 -coo. I think it's just that starter spin and grabbing again. It's just gonna ruin that flex plate is what it's gonna do or the starter both. Our ignition timing is correct. Our valves are open and closed and we have compression, we have fuel. I don't really know. Let me give it some more fuel. Maybe it's cold this morning. I mean, unless our cam timing's off, I don't know what else to try. We gave it a drink of fuel. It's probably flooded out now.
Tudo bem, hein, seus? It won't stay running, though. As soon as I let off, it, it's done. I know it has 12 volts to it. Ooh, that's about to catch fire. Ooh, look at that thing. Oh, my Lord. Okay. It's She's glowing. This is a 12 volt system. Look, it melted the top of that battery. Oh. All right, that's Jesus. not gonna work. Oh, my Lord. Wow. I knew they'd get hot. Even on 12 volts, they get hot. But man, that's not gonna work. <laughs> get off of there. <laughs> about caught the battery on fire. <laughs> We're running full 24 volts to everything. Oh, oh Lord. Well, that didn't help anything. I don't get it. We got it quick enough to start, and it's back fired. Why don't you go over there and do the distributor part, Ralphie? If it sounds like it's trying to run out of spot, kind of keep it there. She might need a little more gas. It's still blowing chunks out of the tailpipe. Oh my lord. It keeps catching my eye like there's a mouse or something over there. Oh my lord. That's incredible. Oh my lord, look right there. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> They've been living in the yeah, they pipe, have. haven't they? All that. <laughs> I was trying to check timing there on 12 volts and it's just impossible. It won't turn over on 12 volts. It's not going fast enough to get past the bad spot on the flex plate. I don't really know what else to try. What could possibly be wrong with it now? Let's see if I can check the timing on 24 volts. Right there is dead on. That's 10 degrees of timing. Basically, engines start at like whatever, eight or 10 degrees. And then once they're running, it's up to like, say 30 degrees, you know? But you can't start at 30 degrees. It's too hard to overcome. I smell something that says- Yeah, I do too. I smell some sort of like burning something. The ignition box is getting hot. The coil's getting hot. I bet that's what we're smelling. Or it's the teeth grinding on that flex mm. plate. Something like that. Look under the car, bud, bud. smell it. Look under the car. So it's like, it smells like battery acids. That's what we smelled the other day when the battery was in the charger. Yeah. Something. We've evacuated the building. Yeah. I think it's <laughs> I think it's a battery boiling on 24 volts. <laughs> Gets you every time. Second day outside. Adrian, you're a lot smaller now. <laughs> you taking care of your baby? I think if we keep cranking on it, nothing new is going to happen. Yeah, it's just going to be Because in the past, if we had one that was hard to start like that, and we put 24 volts to it, within a couple times it started. That's true. Yeah. And every one we've ever had, we put on 24 volts and it didn't start within the first couple times, it just never did start. And right. if we kept on going with that flywheel, it's just going to get worse and worse. And if we Flex replaced plate. Same thing. If we replaced it, I don't think it would do any better. Because it was good at the first, and it didn't even start. Scrap it or what? We ain't scrapping the car, what? I'll tell you that much. Why not? Because he loves it too much. He and it's, it's, it's like the that only box top we have. We could pull the timing cover off and look at the timing system and see if it's jump time or something. Give her a look, give her a look, see? Mm. I hate ones like this. I hate them so much. And this is the third one in a row from there. Don't buy cars out of junkyards, guys. Hey. It ain't worth it. Unless you're just buying the body. Don't for, buy it. They ain't gonna run. Unless you're buying it for some yard art. Yeah, it just yard ain't gonna art. run. Yeah, we have, yeah. So, you know I don't like to leave you guys hanging on these. If they won't start, we usually try to tear them down. So, I'm gonna take the timing cover off this thing because we've already pulled the valve cover and we see all the valves are doing their things. Only guess I got is that the valves are open at the wrong times. We're just gonna pull this timing cover off and see what we can find, I guess. We're gonna have to pull that harmonic balancer. It looks like even the crank pulley may have been in the water at some point. He told us it flooded there a lot. I should have listened to him. Easy. Look, you can see it where the it was in the dirt from about there to there, doesn't it? I think that's the last bolt. Is it gonna come loose? There's so much gunk on it. No, it's hitting the water pump because it needs to come up just a little bit. So we're gonna pull the pump too. Ooh. 
Why is it so small? It's all I have. It's not much, is it? No. You can see this side of the cylinder bore, the jug. All right, let's see what our chain looks like. Maybe this will come off. Oh, wow, look how loose it is. Ooh. I bet that's it. Oh my gosh, look at the inside of this. I didn't even look. Yeah, I saw it. Ooh. Wow. Oh, Ralphie can't I wait. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's so bubbly. Oh, how it thick hard? is it? Man, they must have never changed the oil in this thing. Look at that, it's like a half that inch thick. That is incredible. Looking for our timing marks. Look how much the chain. That's, That's gotta be it, right? Sure, yeah. It's had to jump time. Let her soak in in a minute now. It'll be fine. We're searching for timing marks here because it's so caked up with grease. Look at that. You can get the whole screwdriver up under, all the way up under here. I think right there is our timing mark though. It looks like right there. I just haven't found the one on the small end yet. I just can't find that little one. I'm gonna get it on top of the center number one here. Right about there. There's this mark. So there should be a timing mark right in here if it's on there correctly. That's getting better. Yeah. Oh, it's got serious. <laughs> we done broke the book out. Yeah. Yeah, we got our Fairmont and Zephyr book that fans have sent us. So it looks like the alignment mark should be directly above the keyway on this. So let's go see how far off we are. I mean, it clearly has way too much slop in it. But if that keyway is the tooth, I mean, you can line them back up on the dots. You just got a lot of slack. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, look, you noticed something? What? Where the timing chain slop? Yeah, I saw that. We're slapping the cover and chewing into yeah. it he did a good job on that even the outside looks good d8 what's d stand for oh. 70. Oh. d is 70 8 is the year so it's a 78 model cover so it should be the original cover for the car i like how it has the timing works really obvious right there but i have ordered a new timing set so we can give this thing the best shot we can get but it won't be here for two days oh. I guess we're gonna have to move on to something else in the meantime, and we're gonna have to come back to this. All right, we'll see y'all in a couple days. All right, it's two days later, and our parts have come in, allegedly. So me and Wawa are gonna go get them. Because everybody else is twerked and don't wanna go. Yeah. Look at this. They were, they were, Ralphie just had them on, we were in a rush, I just put them up. Your mother has influenced you. Yes, badly. Terrible. So we got our stuff here. We're gonna head back and see if this timing chain fixes this thing. Now, little motor, this is your last hope right here. All right, your last <laughs> shot at life. That's right. If this don't work, you're done, okay? All $23 worth of timing what? chain. Lord. I'm not even putting the timing cover on it. We're gonna throw this on there and we're gonna crank it with it open. Look at it hurt. Don't have no cooling anyway. All right. So there's our timing mark. For some reason, we just can't find that one on the old one, but it lines up perfectly with the keyway. Cross your fingers, maybe it'll fix it. Are you the cup half empty guy? Yeah, I always think it's not going to run, yeah. <laughs> I can't really tell if that's... Here, Is that put it? you a light on the side. Uh, <laughs> what in the world? Our friend Tabitha hooked me up. We got lights now. Oh. Uh, now you have snow plows for your Crocs, turbos for your Crocs, and now you have headlights for them? Yeah. That's incredible. Oh my gosh. Hey, get that right there. How more redneck can you get? There you are. Look at their lip. There you go. Make sure our timing works are lined up. There you go, that's the difference. You can see how much slop we had before. That's a huge difference in slop. We double, triple checked here. And it looks like our timing marks are lined up really good right there. You can see that they're dead on. We got way less slop now than what we had, as you can tell. All we can do is crank it. Crank her up, let her rip. <laughs> exactly, I hope it starts. Come on baby, you wouldn't need to run. I've never cranked one with the timing cover off like this before. It'll be exciting for all parties involved. I did put some gear oil on that chain just so it stayed oiled up. I don't want to mess up that $20. 24 volts. We turned it around a little bit. Am I going to do it now? After all that, is it not going to go? No way. Come on, just a few right more. Now, we just need to try. 
Really? I can't believe that. No way. Now, why on earth would it stop working now? Because it was still working. It was working. When we stopped. Yeah, you'd have to get in the right spot and it would work. Damn. I was hoping it would start there. Why would it do it now, though? Like, that was the very last start it had was the last <laughs> one before I took the timing chain off. I can't believe that was the last start it had in it was the time that I changed the timing chain. These cars from this junkyard, huh? Yeah. They've got us. They were probably parked for a reason. Yeah. There ain't nothing else we can do. I mean, aside from pulling the engine and replacing the flex plate. I say pull out here and strike a match. I don't know. We tried our absolute best with this one. These cars from this junkyard have absolutely kicked my butt. Yes. I think what's wrong though is I've always bought cars for the most part out of people's yards and stuff. And maybe they parked them, you know. But buying a car from a junkyard is different than buying a car out of somebody's yard. Because it ended up in a junkyard for some sort of reason. And this car has been wrecked in this fender. So I was thinking maybe this one just got wrecked. But I mean we only have 50 to 60 something PSI pressure in every cylinder. We have obvious evidence that this car has been in the water. It had the spark plug non-fouler on. It, so I guess this car just ran its last mile and she's ended up in a junkyard. From, she's rough from the start. Oh my gosh, what are you doing with that lip? Look at her teeth. Look at she that. She's none. showing her teeth. She has nothing. <laughs> my theory is that this thing was just wore out, probably started missing and stuff because of low compression. She wants a kiss. I know she does. She didn't get one from me. This engine would probably start if you started it in the junkyard 25 years ago and it'd right. probably sit there and miss or something. But after it was already wore out and then 25 years of rust inside of it, it just doesn't have enough to get started again so it's hard to chew steak when you ain't got no teeth what's that have to do with this it didn't have no teeth on the thing okay i'm getting it really all we could have done more would be pull the engine or transmission out and put a flex plate a brand new flex plate on a wore out engine and then it probably still wouldn't have started because it was basically running though on the starter it was it really did run on the starter to the point that you know i thought it was completely running several times and you let off too quick no, I don't think I let off too quick, but I just don't know why it was blowing fire up out of the car, but that usually means it's, you know, either a valve is open at the wrong time or the timing is wrong. I, maybe that was that wore out Kim timing chain. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's just wore out in Well, general. you win some, you lose some. Yeah, we've lost three in a row on this junkyard deal. Main thing is you try your best, do your best. Yeah. Thank you as always for watching. Drink your RC Colas. Eat your Vanyas if they don't say P4247 on the bottom of them. That's right. We'll uh, check. Oh. You got Granny and she didn't like it. Oh, I got myself too. Sorry about that, Granny. Yeah. Did hey, you check that up? I did not, I promise. She shook it up, guys. You saw it. You saw what happened. If I was going to pull this engine out, it wouldn't be to put a flex plate in it. I'd be pulling it out to put something else in it. Maybe Godzilla? Probably, Whoa! yes. Exactly. I don't know. I don't even know if I want to try the LTD wagon now. After this, like three bad ones in a row. We might have to put some good ones in there first. <laughs> we'll make some good videos we'll for you and then we'll make a bad one <laughs> after that. But it was cool one. to see the rockers running with the valve cover off and to see the time and chain spin. Wait. It's just a miracle they moved after as crusty and cruddy they were. I didn't think that they was even going to be able to move. Well, but Ralphie wants me to get on the Mustang out in the field and try to get it running. Woo! He wants All a little 505 speed ripper, I guess. We gotta see if it runs to put it in the Falcon, so might as well. We also are gonna be getting on this Fairmont Futura over here, starting doing the wiring and plumbing and stuff. We got parts ordered for Ralphie's Corvette. They've been slow Woo! getting here. If we had all them, we'd be doing that already. We've been looking for a while a car. We thought we had one the other day and mm. it got sold before we got there. We still need a couple parts for the Galaxy Wagon so we can finish it up. And we got to order some parts for the motorhome so we can do the wiring and plumbing on it as well. So I got a bunch of wiring to do coming up. But you can check our second channel at Sleeper Dude 2. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Sleeper Dude 88. As always, you can buy our merchandise down below. These are some of the new shirts we have. Check them out. They're right in front of us on the screen. Like magic. We got more than just what you see below. If you click on it, Strange it'll take you to Spring's magic. website. Strange magic. Do, 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 do.
You better go and take it over. <laughs> but we better get out here and give Rocky his Vainas and give Vainas her RC Cola before they get mad. Tongue twister. Exactly. It is a tongue twister. What are you guys doing, huh? Queen. Yeah. Rocky. Oh, now you want some. You were over there. You could have had I one. I'm waiting behind us. Does Rocky Jr. want one? Huh? What about Lupe? It's, oh, man. Love triangle. <laughs> here you go. Here, Rocky Jr. Get in there. You, you better, better get hurry. it. Before. Granny is just like. Jeez. Here, here, you get it, can you get it? Look, she got it again. Oh my Wait, God. Wait, you're like a pump fake. Look, look, oh, going left, no, going right. <laughs> look, she no. still got it. I, no, it's right here. Oh, is Rocky Jr. gonna get it? Ow! <laughs> she, did what, she didn't get it. She I got it. it. Give you it to Rocky. Here, oh. Easy, easy, you easy. slow down or we're not gonna be doing this no more. Relax. I felt her tooth on my finger. Same, on my whole hand. Check with stuff. Can you tell him bye? Huh? Can you tell him bye? Huh? Bye. Bye. Can't win them all, folks. Oh, hey, you got them things on a high beam now. Turn them down. Turn them down. <laughs> oh, you better aim. Oh, whoa, that's party mode? Yeah. No, oh, wait, party mode? Fast slow point. Wow, that's incredible. Rocky. You can't eat the seeds. No. 